previously on Fire Emblem Three Houses. Jesus Christ, Dimitri! Uh-oh. Ooh! No, Dimitri! Oh, I haven't packed all the crest stones. Yay! And I got arrested by... He turned the fist over by... Yay! No, Jim, yay! I'll give it to somebody else. Uh, fancy, yay! Yay! And now back to Garrick Mock Monastery's Christmas pageant. Huge thank you to everyone for coming tonight. I hope you all have been enjoying the show. And last but not least, we're going to be ending with my class, who have prepared a special song for you all. All right, guys, hit it! On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Twelve cups of decaf Eleven to to ruin Ten deaths to slamming Nine laser shooting Eight grails to smashing Seven books of yelling Six gooses hawking Five hope-filled bagels Four despair waffles Three hench funs Two first aid kits And a body pillow of Dimitri Sneaky B, back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. When we last left off, ah! <laughs> Holy shit! No, Dimitri got fucked up. He got mentally fucked up. And oh my god, that was yeah, uh, it was Edelgard. We think we all knew that. I think I didn't. What, the, the real shock though wasn't Edelgard. It was just Dimitri losing his fucking mind and then just face palming some motherfucker and crushing his skull with his bare hand like a goddamn gorilla boar that shit was awesome and scary and crazy and oh no i'm not feeling good about this <laughs> i don't know i'm now i'm scared now that it seems like i don't know if dimitri's gonna be able to go back to how he was before he's, i mean he did say that the purpose he came here was for vengeance right for the people behind the tragedy of Discur, and he's thinking that Edelgard, as the Flame Emperor, was responsible for it. She's saying she isn't, and I don't think she is. I think she's using these guys for her own uh, her own goals, right? And it seems like the goal is to uh, destroy the church for whatever reason. And I mean, it seems like you know, you guys are even pointing out how apparently the books in the library actually go against what Edelgard was saying about. Uh, she was saying how the the church divided the 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 countries or the kingdoms, but the book said that it was actually uh, the church that helped, I think, settle disputes. Right? Like she was like that the ones that helped bring them together. So it's very possible then that the church has been covering up some uh, foul misdeeds they've been doing up to this point. And, and again, doesn't surprise me if the church does end up being evil because I'm saying that since the beginning of the fucking game the moment we started this game and it's like there's a giant church with this crazy green haired lady in the very first mission we're like destroy the infidels slay them all it's like it's like okay yeah no this, this is gonna go bad like but yeah ooh, ooh. I, will, I will say I'm actually surprised this, this doesn't appear to be the start of part two yet um I really thought that was like I mean that seemed like pretty climactic it's like a really good place to be like all right that's the end of the the first disc of the game. Let's move on to disc two. But I guess we're still going. Maybe we'll be after this month then. I mean, we only have a, a little over a week here uh, in this one. Not gonna be a whole lot of uh, free roaming and stuff like that. Um, I did hear apparently that there is quite a bit of stuff that happens when I do the uh, uh, the main battle for this this month. Like it goes on for a bit, and I've been advised by some of my moderators of when to stop once I start that first battle. So, uh, there is a possibility that I might not get to this, uh, this fight today, uh, only because I know I'm going to have an explore day, which we're going to have to talk to a lot of people, and then I'll hit this, which will probably be like a, a day I'll just do some fights, right? Um, and I mean, I think I'll probably be enough for a full episode. It might be short. I don't know. We'll have to see. I usually just, I mean, talking to everybody on the first day is always a lot, but... I think that's probably the best way to do it. So I don't accidentally, you know, go over here, get in that fight and then have to stop it at like the middle of some fucking shit. At least that's how I'm thinking it's going to go. Unless this shit ends up going real fast and like nobody has anything new to say, but uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to have a lot of things to say. But anyway, uh, last episode, uh, Josh Basilio said, list of minor clarifications. Uh, Catherine and Aloise support. Catherine knew the merchant was a scammer because she has a crest of Charon and her relic was originally owned by the hero the merchant was trying to pass off as his ancient coin is belonging to. Ah, interesting. I thought she just sort of like just knew the history or something, but it goes actually a bit deeper than that. That's cool. 
Mercedes and Ash's support. Mercedes is fine in the kitchen is one of the good cooks among the students. However, her specialty is baking sweets. So Ash was teaching her how to cook other things besides sweets. I see. Okay. I, it's true. I, I kind of forgotten that that was something that we had talked about quite a bit, that she was good at that. Um, not necessarily a bad cook, just but only good at sweets. Um, Lysithia and Busily support. Claude tells you Lysithia is one of the youngest students in the academy as you're setting out to pick which class to lead. She's 15, whereas the most common age amongst your students is 17. Ah, okay. So it's not necessarily a case of a tiny girl is actually a thousand year old demon or something. Nah, she's actually just a bit younger than everybody. Although that said, I still don't know if she's gonna get that much taller than she is. Also related to Lysithia and Busily's support, but in general, Garrick Mock Officers Academy Logistics. Students arrive in March, April, and graduate after a year. While each of the three main professors, including yourself, has been assigned to a house, you're the homeroom teacher of your chosen house. And those class days where you get to instruct one-on-one -on -one are homeroom class days. The other days, you're pretty much teaching everybody, including people outside of your house, like Lysithia, for shorter periods of time. Holy shit, thank you for clarifying that, because that really, uh, I did not realize that. I was not putting that two and two together, but that makes sense. It makes sense, because otherwise I would be, I'd be showing my, my every day of my classes, right? And not just one day. It's not like I'm just teaching one day, and then the rest is like, ah, fuck it, whatever. So I'm, I'm actually teaching them in the homeroom class, and then the other ones I'm hopping around teaching everybody everything, so. Sylvain's comment that we knew this day was coming. He's saying that he and everyone knew that Edelgar would be coming back with more people, as opposed to teleporting out and running away or something. Ah, yeah, I, I, and as you guys had pointed out, it's been a couple of weeks since the, uh, the end of the last fight, so it's not like... We got out of there and then immediately after that, Elgar's like, yeah, fuck him up. And so it's been a little bit of time. And now, just now, did she seem to announce that or declare war on the church? Uh, Josh, Basile, thank you so much for your clarifications. Holy shit, that was actually incredibly helpful. There were a lot of great comments last episode, but I, when I read this, I was like, oh my God, this like, this cleared up with quite a few things that I didn't even realize. Um, and I was like, you know, I want to be able to fully understand as much of things as I can when I'm like going through it a lot of times. Because, because so much of this game, and this is a, a positive, an absolute positive of this game, is showing, not telling. So many things that they leave you to figure out yourself, you know? Um, it's there. It's not like the, the pieces aren't there. They absolutely are there, but you have to figure it out. And uh, sometimes it's easy just to overlook something. Um, but I think that's good. I think it's really, really good. And I like it. And I always appreciate when you guys uh, sort of point out something I might have missed. So, uh, Josh, thank you so much for your... Uh, Incredibly helpful comment. As for that reason, you are comment of the day. Also, I feel I should probably say, but uh, Merry Christmas. Assuming this episode is actually uh, being posted on the day that I hope it is, which should be Christmas Day. It might be the day after, you know, knowing me. Hope you all are having a good holidays or had a good holiday and hopefully enjoying some time off from work and school or, or whatever. I actually ended up celebrating Christmas a day early on Christmas Eve because I had some family uh, staying here and they actually had to leave uh, on Christmas Day pretty early. So I uh, decided just to celebrate early, open the gifts that day and uh i got some cool stuff i got a mini fridge <laughs> i actually got a little mini fridge uh for my office it was a very nice gift i, I didn't even really think about getting one for in here but it's actually gonna make things a lot easier because now i can store some cool drinks and maybe some i don't know sliced cheese for crackers for live streams and shit as well as some other cool little knickknacks and stuff it's a good christmas though it's a lot of fun bernie and uh my sister's dog biscuit have seemed to be getting along a lot better than they were when they were much younger although they do still get after each other quite a bit bernie likes to fucking body slam biscuit <laughs> It's like the, her only move. It doesn't really do anything, but she just kind of throws herself on top of him like, ah! <laughs> but I hope you guys all got some cool stuff and had a good time visiting with family. And hope you're ready for some fucking heartbreak because it seems like that's where this game is going. You guys also told me that hilariously the last episode I posted was actually on Dimitri's birthday. Ah ha ha ha! Talk about ironic. But all right, guys. So I think today is clearly going to be an explore day. Um, but before that, let's go ahead and check. Did I already buy the advanced seals yet? Uh, I did. Okay, so... I can't, I can't remember, did I, I, it's been a little bit since I, uh, I played this, actually, I did, I already did my certifications, so I think I'm good, at least all the ones that I can do, Hanuman, Hanuman failed, because he's not as smart as he thinks he is, I don't know if there's any reason to do, uh, warrior for him, no, it's, it's lower, so I don't think he's gonna get any, any bonus stats, I don't think, assuming I understand how this works correctly, like, so if it's like 132 to 135, it means he's going to be losing some stats, but I suppose it could mean he gets a bonus stat somewhere else, possibly? I, I don't know. It's, I mean, it doesn't mean you're, it means overall your stats are lower, but you might get something higher. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's 
probably safe to assume though that if it's lower number it's not likely you're gonna get bonus stats i will say i do actually like that they get those bonus stats though because it really does help if you end up getting some really bad fucking rolls uh with your uh, level ups like that that boost to strength for cyril when he got the wyvern rider like has vastly improved his usability um all right so let's go ahead and fucking explore check out the aftermath so this still not here never got to even talk to her. god damn it i thought i was actually going to be able to possibly uh communicate with her or like i don't know get her back by going to commune with the goddess or whatever i don't know i mean i found a stupid chair didn't do shift for me, but it was there. Why well, is the chair there? But also my head. Is that am I transporting myself there all this time, or is it my own weird imaginary chair I've been dealing with? Hi there. I'm just <laughs> standing over here by the well for whatever reason. Actually, I didn't even check. Did, did my quest totally? Uh, oh wait, do I have some? Oh, I have some supports. I forgot about. Uh, did my quests totally vanish? Vanish the? Ba oh no, they're still there. Ah! Oh my god, I don't believe it. They're actually still here. It's just the, uh, the, uh, paralogs that are gonna be done by this point. Um, okay, wait. Before we do that, let's go ahead and check out, uh, some more fucking supports. Uh, Flane and Dudu. Okay, so, Flane reached out to Dudu to have, to teach her to cook, right? So, uh, this is probably gonna be cute. Chop the vegetables into bite-sized pieces. After that, skim the top layer off the pan. Be mindful of the heat. When do we get to the fish? Okay, Flane, seriously, for the eighth time, when you're ready! And you are definitely not ready. You are way too excited about it. Mm, certainly, Chef to do. There is no need to call me that. Are you displeased? N no, not in the slightest. I just got momentarily sleepy. <laughs> it happens to me from time to time. Let me see. First, chop the vegetables. Coming right up, Chef. Uh, uh to do. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Yes, Chef! Don't call me that. Yes, shit, I, I don't gotta cut my finger. Good. Good, yes. Uh, I am so bored. Day in and day out, it is nothing but dicing vegetables and waiting for water to boil. No, not a single fish to be seen. I want to feel like I am actually cooking. It is not as though I do not know the basics. He could at least let me hold the spatula sometime. <laughs> you, you have not earned the spatula, Flane. You know what happened last time I gave you the spatula? Ash lost an eye. That's right. I'm a pirate now. Actually, this eye patch is kind of cool, but still. Next, we peel the vegetables. Chef Dudu, I was hoping to speak with you regarding something that has been on my mind. Speak? Surely you have noticed my skill while wielding pans and knives. Therefore... I think it is time you taught me how to cook. Beyond all this water boiling and vegetable chopping business. This is all I know how to do. <laughs> what? Yeah, I, was, I, I don't know how to do anything else. Is that, have you even noticed? There's any meat in any of the food I've been giving you. I literally just been cooking up some vegetables. You stupid girl. And then I just put some like salt and pepper on it and we're done. Wow, I thought it tastes a lot better than that. It's because I put heart in my food, which you do not have. Pulls out the spatula and smacks it in your face. <laughs> now sit your ass down. You are in the spatula. Impossible. But why? All must be done in the proper sequence. And the first step here, whether you like it or not, is to learn to use the tools perfectly. <laughs> Come now. You have seen how I use a ladle. You know I'm good for it. <clears throat> he has left me no option but to take matters <laughs> into my own hands. <laughs> this is the fucking best. Okay, first off, I just gotta say, this is my favorite expression in the entire game is is Flane's like sass expression this one it's looks like it could be like you, you glance and you think it might just be like generic face when you look it looks like one of the eyebrows is slightly upward almost she's like like motherfucker what you say bitch what you say to me stubborn you may be chef to do but I will show you the true meaning of delicious no Flane basics oh god oh no she's going rogue <laughs> no wax on wax off Flane is that they just have one more don't they or is it a two-parter uh yeah there's one more how's this gonna end is fling gonna kill to do <laughs> find out next time on cooking ball z all right uh cyril and uh mercedes actually the last one cyril's gonna be resting right on mercedes boobs did cyril fall asleep here 
again? Oh, I fell asleep standing up once again. Hmm. There's nothing to cover him with. He'll catch cold if he's here too long. Oh well, I guess I have no other options. I'll have to take care of this myself. Ah! What? What's happening? I'm keeping you warm so you don't. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, Nick. Oh Jesus Christ! That is actually what happened. I will keep you warm with my sweet soft bosom. Mm. Ah! Um, I'm sorry. Did I make you uncomfortable? Bad touch. Bad touch. No, Cyril. That's wrong. That's a good touch. That's a very good touch. I I was just surprised. Thanks, Mercy. Oh my god, Cyril's, <laughs> Cyril's beat red. I don't think I've ever seen Cyril's embarrassed face. Oh, I'm happy to hear you call me that. You know, I seem to find you in here pretty often. Do you have a favorite book? Nah, but it's always real quiet here, so it's where I like to sleep. I see. You always seem so wrapped up in your work. That is, whenever you're not sleeping in the library. Do you have many friends here? No, not really. But don't you want some? Having friends is much more fun than spending all of your time alone. Nah, I don't want people treating me like an outsider. I'm better off alone. I... Wait, what? How does that make sense? If I become friends with people, I'm an outsider? Isn't that the opposite? An outsider? You? Who would possibly say... Oh, so you don't think anyone thinks that? Should I tell you what happened to me before I came here? Oh no, you really don't have to. I didn't mean to bring up such difficult memories. But you know, everyone here sees you as a friend. Yeah, Zero's so like, you wanna know how I got this scar? Even me. I see you as a good friend. Percy, I'm sorry. I sure like everyone here too, but... Golly gee! It feels like you're, I don't know. It sounds weird, maybe, but I think you're something different than a friend. Oh, God. Oh, no! <laughs> Mercedes is like, ooh, no! First off, you're way too annoying. And also, young. Very young. That, that should probably be the first thing. You're way too young. Different? In what way? Do you not like me? No, it's not that. I can't... You know how sometimes you can't explain things? This is that. Puberty, Mercy! Puberty! If I had a sister, I think that might be how it feels being around you. Ah, oh, that. Really? <laughs> That's just as well. You remind me of my little brother. <laughs> Odison! Oh, you got a brother? I do, but I haven't seen him in so long. It's almost like he's not really my brother anymore. He's a fucking death knight. But you can count on me if you need anything at all. I'll do my best to help you out. I'll be curious to see if that's going to end up being as just like black and white as it appears to be. It's like, yep, it's Mercedes' brother is the Death Knight and he's uh, uh, whatever the fucker's name. I don't even remember anymore. We barely, we haven't seen him in fucking ages. I can count on you for anything? Wow. Neat. Can you do that thing you were doing earlier? What, it keeping you warm? Yes, <laughs> please. Okay, that was nice. Okay, I think that's it for now. All right, how's everybody taking the whole uh, murder, vengeance, Edelgard thing? Catherine, I'm sure you're you've got some good things to say about it. Ugh, if I could go back to last month and throttle my carefree self. Should've just stabbed that bitch when I had the chance. Now it turns out Edelgard is the Flame Emperor and the new Adrestian Emperor. Wow, her father must be a fucking pushover. She's like, went over there and was like, Dad, I'm the new emperor now. Oh, okay, honey, you have fun. And she's striking out against the monastery with the full force of the Imperial Army behind her. We gotta beat her at her own game. For our sake, as well as Lady Rhea's. All for Lady Rhea! Right, right, right. You saw it too, didn't you? The boar's true nature. Yes, I saw it, Felix, all right? You don't have to rub it in my face fucking face. I just want to throw out there, you haven't done jack shit to help with that. You basically have just been over there bit talking about how he's a boy and shit, but not doing anything to stop it. No, this is all you, Felix. You, not me. I didn't throw shit. I didn't see anything. I love that man, okay? La, 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 la. I can't hear you. La, 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 la. I wasn't even saying anything. Just want to point that out there. He's hidden his desire for revenge pretty well, but now it's stirred up. Well, regardless, 
That girl's starting an all-out war, isn't she? But an enemy is an enemy, no matter who they are. Don't let compassion for her get in your way. Don't let your feelings cloud your judgment. I thought we'd all be really busy with assignments and getting ready for graduation. But now... Not going to war! What a bummer! Now that things have turned out like this, I guess there's nothing to do but fight. Uh, oh, Casper's here too. I don't normally have a problem jumping into a fight, but it feels strange going up against my father. We aren't especially close, but he's not an opponent I'd want to face. Wait, which one's your father, Casper? I'd almost rather fight a monster. I hope he's not part of the group coming to attack Garrett Mock. Uh, well, I mean, he's he was part of the Empire's class initially. So his father would be from the Empire. If we can't remember if we've actually brought up who that is. Oh, that's right. Count Burgles. And his father inherits the Count Burgles. I, 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 yeah, this got brought up at some point. I can't remember who it is, though. I know. I'm sorry. This There's so many characters and so many details to keep track of in this game. And it gets a little difficult. Also, I have broken 100 hours in this game. Hot dog. And I'm not even halfway done yet. <laughs> at least based on the part one, part two. I imagine part two is about the same as part one, I guess. Okay, Lance Tournament. Pretty sure I gotta send my boar in there <laughs> to kick ass and take names. Dimitri, get in there and show them why we should be scared of you. God, Dimitri's so fucking strong, too. But I like how they even show that in the st his own stats, you know? Not just in the cutscenes, but actually in his, like, stats. Like, he is stupidly strong. He gets, like, increases to his strength, like, every time he levels up. It seems like. Still on a horse, by the way! La 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 la! Is that all? Is that it? That was easy. What a loser! Uh, okay, you're even weaker than the last one. Don't know what you're doing here. It's kind of a weird order we're going in. Yoink! Who's next? Who's next? Uh, is this the same guy from earlier? <laughs> this is the same attack power. He feels good now. He feels like he's ready to take me. Oh, wait, never mind. Don't hit my horse. All right. One more, maybe. I better heal this time. Oh, wait, actually, there's one more. Here we go. Pegasus Knight. Pegasus! Pegasus! Flying in the air! You could probably fly away from my attack and throw it a spear at me from a distance, but thank God you're stupid! Pegasus! Alright, Silver Lance, Dimitri won. I got experience, didn't see it. Professor, what actually happened last month? I can't keep up at all. I can't keep up with all this plot! Edelgard is the Emperor? And she's declared war against the Church? So now we're at war? What is going on? Yeah, and you'll be the f on the front lines. Hope you don't die, generic student. But just saying, since you're a generic student, more than likely you'll be the first to die. Anyway, keep up the good work. I really don't understand any of this. What should I do? That'd be funny if I get to choose the response there. I could build up my affinity with generic student. Dear me. Edelgard became emperor and raised an army, huh? Who knew the kid had it in her? I mean... Yeah, of course, I knew she'd be Emperor eventually, but... The Flame Emperor! The more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. Also her, you mean? We will not lose. Also her, uh, you mean? Would it really be okay for Edelgard to win? I don't know. So we're gonna find out. I don't really know... the full story behind this yet. You understand the fucking history behind this shit. The Empire's aggression cannot stand. But if we are going to attack them now, we must be honest with ourselves about our chances of success. <laughs> We're all fucked! It goes without saying that I will fight the Imperial Army with everything I have for as long as I am able. But House Gloucester's territory is adjacent to Imperial lands. Let us proceed with caution. Once the Imperial Army reaches the monastery, we'll have no choice but to fight. What's going to happen to us? We have to slay them all. Everything will be all right. I can't say for sure. Everything will be all right. I believe you. With the knights on our side, and especially with you, Professor, I know we can do this. That's right. Me and my god pals will save us all. Minty, minty green hair power for the win. Uh, a book reporting the history of Sring people. Probably belongs to someone who ties the Sring. No idea. Things must be pretty crazy in Fargus about now. My father must be beside himself. I don't get it. Why did Edelgard make enemies with the nobles? I have no idea. For the sake of our ideals, I have no idea. Me either. 
Of course. Even if we did get it, what do we do about it? I hope this all gets sorted out quickly and safely. I'm worried about my father. Oh, that's mine. Oh, oh. it's yours, Sylvain. For fuck's sake, man. It's right there, stupid. God damn. What's up with you guys losing your shit and it's two feet away from you? I'm never gonna find him, never at all. Oh, it's right there. His Highness calls for the head of Edelgard. For me, that is cause enough to fight. This is against the teaching of the teachings of the goddess. You're truly all right with that. You're truly all right with the that. Hatred of His Highness is also my hatred. Any other feelings I may have <gasps> oh, are God. irrelevant. What the, f what the fuck is the look on it? Look at his portrait right now. That's a terrifying look on your face there to do. What the fuck? What is it? Am I looking at this weird? It's his angry, his angry face. Usually he, he is a frown, but he's actually smiling with his angry face. Now it looks demented. And if Edelgard was Jesus. responsible in any way for the tragedy of Dusker, that is something I cannot ignore. If that is the case, then she is my enemy. Yeah, see, there's his angry face. Jesus, man. Don't make that face ever again to do, please. Hold up! You'll battle Edelgard, right? Good luck. Me? Oh, I'm going to run away. I have zero interest in dying here, thank you very much. What the hell? I thought you were supposed to be Sailor Moon, Hilda. <laughs> That's it. That's all she has to say. Oh, no, I'm out of here. I'm peacing the fuck out, bitch. <laughs> this shit has nothing to do with Golden Deer. Seriously, this does seem like a very, very much a Edelgard, Dimitri, like, story and affair. Like, where the fuck are the Golden Deer going to fit in this story? It seems like they're kind of like outsiders to everything. They're just like, just hanging out. Like, I don't, they're like, I don't even need to be here right now. Whole Golden Deer side quest is just going to be smoking weed with fucking Clyde after class every day. Don't even go to class. Just, just get high. Chillax. Because, hey, you got to do something with all that debt you're accumulating. What is Edelgard even trying to achieve? She wants to destroy the church so badly that she'll take on anyone who doesn't fall in line? I don't get it. Her ideals are in conflict with yours. It's a hard thing to accept. I just can't believe she'd start a war over it. Not to mention using such nasty tactics to get her way. Could Captain Gerald's death have also been a part of her plan? Don't you go and die on me, Professor. I don't think so. Captain Gerald would never forgive you. Yeah, I won't. It's all right. If I die, I'll just undo it. <laughs> That's right. Got the undo button. It built in my code. Oh, shit. I must. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Leone. Leon, oh God, <laughs> Leon, I'm stuck. <laughs> no, you're not coming away, Professor. You're gonna help us. Leon, let me go. The Empire is moving quickly. Edelgard must have been preparing for this for a while now. If you really think about it, she must have been planning for this even before you got the Sword of the Creator. Of course, she was always a step ahead of us. We were blinded by the ball and the battle of the eagle and lion and everything else. Oh, that hot ass. Thanks, Claude. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, maybe at some point they're, they're gonna get brought in. But man, like, it seems like this game is all about fucking eagles and lions and fuck the deer. <laughs> I would wonder then, like, it seems like the how a run would feel, how different a run would feel when you're the deer. You're gonna feel like, just like, hey, guys, hi, hi, I'd like to be part of the plot. Guys, come back, guys. <laughs> Those who serve the church must cast aside all selfish desires and devote themselves fully to their beliefs. But is it right to wield piety as a weapon? I have never considered such things before. Absolutely. Wield everything as a weapon. That pillar over there, that could be a weapon. The hound in your head, if you sharpen it enough, it could totally be a weapon. Every Mr. Kitty in this fucking institution is a potential weapon we can use our enemies. You need to start thinking ahead there, monkey girl. Get your head in the game. The church, I, I have always done what I thought best to save the people of Fodlin. Man, Daddy, I'm so confused. Dimitri's going crazy. I mean, he's hot, but he's crazy. Edgar's trying to murder the church. Rhea's trying to fuck me. I just don't know what to do. Daddy, what would you do? Yeah, yeah, I'd probably, probably fuck, fuck one, one of the maids. They, they try to piece out of there when the, the, when the baby, baby was born. born. But hey, that's kind of what got us into this mess, mess isn't it? it? Still love you, by the way. It's my job to protect Lady Rhea. I've got to do it. And I got to do it as best I can. And if that means I got to die for her, then I will. All right, Cyril, you go get him. I'm gonna leave everything to you. You're gonna be the only one in the next fight. I'm gonna step out. All right, thanks, Professor. I'm gonna do it with me and my dragon. Let's go. I've got the power of a Pixar movie protagonist on my side. Actually, Cyril, that was a DreamWorks movie. Oh shit, I fucked it. Ah! Uh, how could Edelgard treat Lady Rhea like she's the bad guy? She's never been anything but nice to everybody. I just don't get it at all. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, Cyril. All right, you just. 
You just don't get it. Lady Rhea is crazy, all right? She is crazy. She's always been crazy. And I still think she's going to end up being like a Uleska final boss that I can, for some reason, have an ending with. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, if I could have an ending with her, it seems very unlikely that I could... She's going to be like the final boss where she's going to turn it. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't know. They, like, she, I get such a Uleska vibes from her. I do. She's like Uleska, but wears a little bit more clothes. But I could totally see her hair fusing into the ground and little tentacles coming out and just fucking us all. Isn't that right, Gilbert? Are you ready to drum a potty yet? By the there way. Are always small power struggles. Still, it has been hundreds of years since all of Fodland was consumed by war. I didn't actually think it would come to this. I feel as though I'm not in my rightful place. I cannot protect the things I should. Gilbert, I swear to God, if you run away again, I am going to hunt you down. Professor, if I survive this war, I wish to return to my homeland, to the land of my king. About time. Also, might want to do something about your daughter while you're at it. Be an actual father for once. Sack of shit. I still can't invite you either. God dang it. Uh, Shamir, you ready to kick some ass? We're falling behind. I don't know that we can keep up with the new emperor. To think that she was able to raise an army of that size right under our noses. However, oh, where'd you get all of them? I give us a 50% chance of winning. Really, Shamir? Come on. The enemy has too many advantages. We must make careful preparations. Yeah, but you have like a 99% critical hit rate, Shamir. There's no way we're going to lose. All right, no way. Not with the mods. 1% is the 1%. Bizzily. Don't you fire emblem fudge those rules for me, Shamir. All right, Mibu Gazebo. So, <gasps> it does look. It's just spitting shit out. Is it? Is it always the same? Cabbage. Uh, I got the door key. No fruit. Honey fruit blend. No, that's a little different. A little bit. I did get a door key. I think it might be like the same types of items, but it, but the what it actually is specifically is different. So like. You'll get a fruit in one spot, but it's a different type of fruit. And you'll get a tea in that other spot, but it's a random type of tea. Maybe. Mayhaps. Do I need to do it again? Uh, that's a negatory. Hey, Raphael. I hear the Alliance's territory will be in danger if we don't get rid of these Empire guys. If the Alliance is in danger, that means my sister's in danger, too. There's no way I'm going to allow that. It doesn't matter how many guys they throw at us. I'll beat them all. These muscles aren't just for show. But first, I gotta get some food. <laughs> Raphael's just like, just let me out. I'm just, I, I don't, I don't have to think about. It. I'm just gonna get him. Just gonna get him. <sighs> what do you have to say about this, Lindhard? Anything insightful or interesting? The most important nobles in the empire are known for taking power from the previous emperor, my father included. I didn't think it possible that the imperial princess could ascend the throne so easily. All right. However, it seems that both my father and Caspar's are supporting Edelgard. Hmm. Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control over the Empire's military and finances. You must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. Ah. Okay, then. Well, that actually was educational. And Todd, you've said something interesting for once. Congratulations. I've known His Highness since I was a child, but... I've never seen that side of him before. Are you fucking kidding me, Ingrid? Have you not seen? You were there for all the fights he was doing that shit. We was yelling that crap out. You were literally standing right next to him. I think all my students have gotten so used to it, they have like blinders on every time Dimitri goes a little cray cray. I've never seen him crush a dude's head in. That's really taking to the extreme. He seemed like a completely different person than the one I know. Come on. I mean, he was definitely showing some decent signs of it by this point, Ingrid. If he didn't fucking face bomb somebody. Even want that. Man, it's gotta be something really bad if it's got Bernie out of her room. I don't know. She seems to think force is the only way. I wonder why she'd think that. That's how it always goes, I guess. You never realize something can't be undone until you've done it. It's okay, Bernie. We're gonna get through this, okay? Don't worry, little purple head. Before anything. Alright, just because we're at war doesn't mean I don't gotta stop and check the planties. Rocket Burdock! Cool. Oh, I got you five. I didn't realize I could do that many at once. Max this shit out. I think I'd realize that by now. Wow, really? Pretty deal's only two? Suck my balls. Oh, I got another knowledge gem. That's right. Who should I give that to? That was... Uh, increases the amount of skill experience. That is good. Ash has it right now. I'm fine with that, actually. Uh, you know, it's kind of like 
the reason I put it on myself is because it's harder for me to get skill experience compared to everybody else. Uh, since, you know, I can't really... I don't really go to class unless it's with the seminars. And, uh, you know, learning from the professors on campus, which takes time. Um, so, yeah, that could work. Oh, yeah, and you guys actually mentioned this. So, <laughs> Seneth has apparently joined me. It didn't really uh, indicate that at all. But, uh, yes, I, I do see that. He is here now, isn't he? Uh, let's uh, have a look at his stuff then. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know what his age e is either. Oh, no, then that's some... Okay, this isn't just a funny bit of memeing shit. No, this is some this is some serious plot point right here. What are you two, like, thousands of years old or something? Oh, he's pretty strong, though. God damn, he's got some high strength. Oh, well, he is a wyvern rider. Really, it's just his resistance that's a bit low. Even his magic actually isn't too bad. Oh, he's got rally defense. That's cool. Grand plus four defense. Guardian. Adjacent female allies deal three extra damage during combat. Ah, really? Uh, so he's got... He excels in everything except for riding, which is kind of funny because... <laughs> I'm not good with horses, but I'm good with dragons and Pegasi. And he's really good with... He's good at a lot of things, though. He's good at... Wow. Well, authority's already very high. Uh, flying, sword, lance, and ant axe. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and, of course, he has... Just just like Flane, he has very little freaking bio. 1162. Summoned to Garrick Mock Monster as an assistant to the Archbishop. And that's it. Uh, interest protecting Flane, writing fables. Likes Flane. <laughs> the, the Church of Saros, diligence in fishing. Dislikes anyone who is a threat to Flane or opposes the Church of Saros. That, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty general. Wow, I was really hoping I'd. If I if you ever joined my party, I would get some more insight into you guys. But uh, no, not really. The crest sigil. Legend has it, it. It has it that the same sigil bore this crest, a symbol of strength and the land. Sometimes lets combat arts prevent enemy attack counterattacks. Okay, well in that case, I should just go ahead and give him the. Uh, was it the lance? What was it? Yeah, the spear of assault. Right. Can he not? He can't use it yet because it's an A rank. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Resource HP every turn, though. Ah, how close is he? Where's goals, by the way? Spear and authority. Okay, he only has to go up one more level, but. Okay, Rocky, Rocky Burdock is strength. Who's lacking there? <laughs> Clearly, Dimitri. No. I think Bernie could actually be a bit. I think she could use a bit more attack powers. Like, actually, she has 22, she has only 18. Petra, you're in a kind of a weird spot today. I am owing big debts to Duke Gert of the Empire. He is the Minister of Affairs that are foreign. No, it's Duke Gert. Say it right. He is a friend of Edelgard. He is to her side. What should I be doing? Hello there. Hello there. Threaten the goddess. Such a vile act cannot be forgiven. There is no need to worry. I promise you that. Divine punishment will surely fall upon them. Yeah, I could totally rely on you, generic monk guy. In the days of yore, the goddess would grow angry with such insolent fools and roast them in ALL. Ooh, ALL. Do tell. Uh, all right, we got three notes. Everyone's super upset because of this shit. Oh, Claude. I often overhear people commenting about how strange I am. I don't really get it. Shouldn't it be expected that everyone has their own unique perspective on life? True, but perhaps your perspective is really strange. Dwelling on what they say won't help. You must act. Just follow your own path and don't worry about them. That's probably it. Yep. I'm going to bond with you for no reason. I do find it a little weird that they let you bond with uh, with characters that you can't actually have supports with on that run. Uh, Rhea? Uh, I'm more than capable of protecting myself from referees, but those around me tend to worry. I'm, I'm often denied the pleasure of, of a private stroll. It's okay to sneak out sometimes. I'm, I'm happy to escort you if you want to go out. You're too important, so I'm afraid I can't be helped. I'm happy to escort you if you want to go out. No, probably it's probably the first one. No, I want to go out by myself, Bizzle. You're not listening. Why don't they realize I'm fucking Diesel? Apparently. Uh, Hilda. I'm supposed to write a letter to my brother to let him know how I'm doing, but there's something I want to. Oh, it's, it's this one. It's just too much work. Be honest, tell him you have nothing to say. I think I said that before, and it wasn't right. Just tell him you're doing fine and leave it at that. Why don't you just tell him? Don't you tell him about your friends? There we go. Oh my god, are you kidding me? And that was apparently enough to push it over. Well, it looks like we're gonna learn a little bit about Hilda after all. God dang doodly. All these fucking notes. Uh, Catherine. Professor's job seems so repetitive. It's the same thing day after day after day. I used to be interested in teaching, but it seems way too boring for someone like me. I'm too busy to ever be bored. Each day is full of unique challenges. Better than having to train every day. Each day is full of unique challenges? 
Nope. Uh, Petra, I have great love for the sea, but Garrick Monk has too much distance from it. I need to be inside the water soon. Inside it. Where's the best place for swimming? You should visit the sea to the south. The water in Fodolin is too cold for swimming. Things are too busy right now. There isn't time for that. You should visit the sea to the south. Okay, cool. Works for me. Oh, I don't know. Some grunting sounds he had there. I can't believe the Empire raised an army. Even I couldn't have guessed it. War is profitable, but dangerous. I really don't like seeing people I care about out there mixed up in all this. Hey, I got a quest, though. How about a favor? Seems that there's some rare, valuable secrets circling on the battlefield. Like you collect a number of these formations, you have the opportunity to do so. Is this going to carry into part two? Because I feel like it's coming up pretty soon here. Okay, valuable secrets. Let's do or collect four of them. So this is basically the same as what it was last time. I think even getting the same rewards. Only 100 renown and a secret book. Okay. I'm guessing since this is like a DLC wow. quest, it probably is something that will uh, uh, carry over into part two. You know, Professor, I'm glad that I came to the Officer's Academy. I feel accepted here. I've learned so much. Honestly, I'm surprised at how much I've grown. So, I will not let the Academy be destroyed. It's important to me, and I will protect it. Don't do anything rash. I feel the same. I feel braver just hearing you say that, Professor. We're gonna win this, Professor. Aw. You're nice, Ignatz. Don't die. What the Don't fucking die. No, these students better fucking die, I swear to God. If any of them do, I'm gonna be super pissed. But like, what the hell did I keep you alive for if you're just gonna die in the fucking main story anyway? All oh, right. Kiki McCann! Greetings, Professor. Something to report. Unexpected, isn't it? Holy shit. What is a Gigi Raccoon? Apparently, this is the first time Garrick Mach has been invaded in its whole 995 year history. It's my job to protect this gate. So even if enemies come in droves, I will never let them through. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It just hit me. Oh, no. This is raising some serious death flags for you, Gatekeeper Coon. Oh, no, no, no. You better not die in my arms, all right? That thing I said at the beginning of the game that was a joke and I was scared about happened and better not come to pass. I hope we both survive. Let's battle with all our might and pray we win this thing. Hey! God dang it. Please don't die, Gatekeeper Raccoon. Seriously, I'm be really, really, really fucking sad and fucking pissed. Be fucking pissed at the game for making me love this man. Only to take him away from me. Oh, half of the Empire's six great noble families have declared their support for Edelgard. Clearly, she must have some evidence or something to... I mean, right? The only reason they would do that at right is they think the church is in the wrong. Or they feel that like this is an opportunity for them to get power. Eh, it could be that. Of the other three, Lord Vestra was assassinated. Hubert, his son, will succeed him. Ew. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is under house arrest. His wife is now supporting Edelgard. Hmm. And my father. He was stripped of his role as Prime Minister. As a result, House Iyer has lost all of its power. All of its lands. We have lost everything. Then why are you still smiling, Ferdinand? Maybe because I just haven't accepted it yet, Professor! I... I... What do I do? Looks like in the end, that normal blood didn't do shit for you, did it, Ferdinand? All right, Hilda. Let's learn a little more about you. You know, when we're hey, twin tails. What are you doing daydreaming in a place like this? It's I don't know. I was just teleporting here. Spacey as you are, you're always reliable in a pinch. I wasn't daydreaming. You were daydreaming too. <laughs> Not as much as you. It's hard to tell what's going on in that skull of yours. I was going to say the same thing. Your expression is always blank. Come on, smile. <laughs> I'm smiling on the inside. I was just playing around. Don't get mad. By the way, in the next battle, may I focus on logistical support off the battlefield? There's no use having a weakling like me in the middle of the action. And it would bring down morale if I were killed. You're not a weakling. I want you in the action. You're not a weakling. Don't lie to me. Have you even seen me, Professor? Look at these noodly little arms. I think the last time I saw you, you were wielding a big fucking axe. I should be cheering everyone on from the sidelines. It'll certainly improve the boys' morale, don't you think? No, you don't get to cut class. Why aren't you taking this seriously? Why don't you want to fight? Because even if I do, I won't be of any help. 
My big brother is the type of person who's supposed to be on the battlefield. Oh, nice, huh? For me, it's just a waste of energy. It's pointless. Everyone's cut out for something different. The right person for the right task, you know? Please, Professor. Keep me off the battlefield, and maybe I won't tell everyone you were daydreaming. <laughs> Everybody already knows that. Go ahead and tell. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> that was a that was a weird one. I can lie. It's kind of a weird one. So Hilda seems to be lazy and slightly manipulative, or she just has some secret, deep-seated reason for not wanting to fight. I don't know. Probably the latter. Knowing how this game is going with its uh, characterization. Nothing is as it seems. There don't seem to be a lot of lost items this time, which is kind of good. Probably because you only have two weeks this time. People don't have as much time to lose things. Hey, Dimitri. <laughs> I'll kill her. I will fucking cut her limbs off. Oh, hi, Professor. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? You doing okay? You want to talk to your pal Bizzleet? Hey? I'll have that girl's head. Just you wait. Oh, come on, man. What's up? Praying in the church of the goddess to help cool you down. No, actually, I had a talk with the goddess, and she was telling me, yes, I, sh I should totally fall through with my bloodthirsty plan. All right, and then the goddess and I are going to have to have a talk with each other. So this, what have you been telling him? Okay, that's all he has to say, really. I'll have <laughs> you want to go with some tea? <laughs> Maybe if I take him out some tea, help cool, help him cool down. Can we really defeat someone who is willing to turn their back on the world? Just to uphold their own beliefs? I've spent my whole life running in fear. And now, I... Oh, we can win this together. We can't win if you run. We can win this together. Surely we can win if we rely on each other. Right, Professor? What? Is that not the right one? I had to say you need to run? Don't... If you, if you run? Right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, wait. Ran by somebody. Uh... Oh! Flay! What are you doing hiding there in the corner? Professor war is breaking out again is it not again i want to stop it if i can again there was a truly terrible war once upon a time i never wanted another war all we can do is steal ourselves for the fight ahead okay it totally is you guys are like you guys are like thousands of years old or something you're like around for like some other war that maybe you were like part of that war from the the early cutscene or something were you guys around during Zeros versus Nemesis? I'm starting to wonder. This girl and her brother slash father. See you again soon. See you again soon. This one and this one and this one. Oh. I guess we have no choice but to fight, have we? Oh, but why would Edelgard do something like this? I'm sure we'll be all right, though, Professor. The goddess will keep us safe. Nah, I think she's kind of gone. She seems to be fused into me, and I, her presence isn't here anymore. So we're gonna have to rely on our own bullshit to get through this. Ah, good. My army of Mr. Kitties, you have finally gathered. The Kitty Brigade is ready for battle. What say you, Commander? What do you mean you don't have enough rations? You have plenty of rations. Look at this. Look at all the rations I have. 68 of these fucking two of these pikes. 68. What am I supposed to do with these? And 70 of these bullheads. I, I don't need all this fish. I don't fucking need it. Mr. Kitty, fine. You want some? I'll get you some. Here. Have one. Good. Give me some shit. Good. Give me some mithril. I really need some mithril. It's actually what I need to, to forge the uh, the super axe thing. No. Give me some mithril. Give me some... Damn it. Damn you, Mr. Kitty. You've been kicked out of the Kitty Brigade. God damn it. What you cats doing over here lying around? We've been called to arms. Didn't you hear? God, you all are so lazy. What happened? This isn't the Kitty Brigade I know and love. The ones I've been feeding fish for since the start of this game, a hundred hours ago. That was a hundred hours of fish. Do you have any idea how long it took me to get all that shit? Ah. That's right, it was a lot of work. And you cats haven't shown me any fucking gratitude. Well, you know what? Now's the time. You can need to grab your swords and head into battle. I know underneath that fat, furry exterior is a level 99 soul waiting to fight. Ah. Level three? Really, Mr. Kitty? Goddamn! You cats really have let yourself go. Oh, Mithril, there it is. Yes, more Mithril. All right, cool. I think that should be enough to... Forge the Hout Clan. Yep, there it is. And yes, finally. The Hout Clare, an Empire Wyvern Corps axe wielded in the War of Heroes. That is a high hit rate and might. This Good fucking lord. No kidding. 
Oh, beefcake. Can I, can I actually boost this even further? Is it going to get that ridiculous? No, I can't. <laughs> nope, this thing is as good as it's going to get. All right, who gets this beast? Should I give it to, to do? Let's see, Cyril could wield it too. But Cyril's Cyril. Hey, you know what? I, I think I will, actually. It'll help it give him a little bit of a boost and fight. Also, he can move much further than Dudu can. All right, here's the hat clay. Don't fuck it up. Don't Cyril it. We must protect Garrick Mark. Defiling the holy tomb was a sacrilege. I will not allow such a thing to happen again. The Archbishop has already given you a new responsibility. I want you to rise to that honor. Ah, man. I have something to ask of you. I'm scanning the makeup of the Imperial Army, but much is still unclear. Any information you can provide would be great help. Call information the Imperial Army, and I, of Saros would have that kind of information. Uh, okay. Knight of Saros. Okay, good. This seems to not be a, uh, uh, one that requires a battle. I think Edelgard was somehow connected to the captain's murderer. Well... Perhaps it's pointless to get upset about the past. My duty now is to prepare for battle. We're depending on your strength, Professor. Crush our enemies. I'm depending on you. I'll try. I'm depending on you. I hope you're watching. We will protect Garrick Mark. Shut up, Aloys. Your jokes aren't funny. The Holy Tomb held many crest stones. This is the first time I've heard of crest stones being hidden away in such a place. But more importantly, I'm interested to know the Empire's aim. Why would their army desire crest stones? There is power there, yes. And yet... Is that what, isn't that what's like creating these demons? Not like I keep seeing like the crest stones when I like something, right? Whenever I like put the court cursor over their head. I must think on this. The crest stones lie at the heart of the events surrounding Conan Tower and the chapel as well. And of course, the crest stones somehow transform those traitors and their captives into demonic beasts. Could that possibly be their aim? More demons. The Empire's army may well plan to use crest stones to create demonic beasts. So I just fucking said, Hardiman. I'm looking across one single lost item so far. The mastermind behind the attacks on the monastery was Edelgard? Wow. Damn it, I thought I had some tits on me. Doesn't make much sense, though, does it? There would need to be all sorts of territories and groups tangled up in this sort of mess. <sighs> I'm gonna stop. I don't really have the head for this political stuff. Mostly, I'm worried about my old opera company. I wonder what's happening in the capital right now. I hope they're safe. They're probably dead. I still haven't had this door open, and I have yet to be able to actually get to the third floor of this place. God damn. They really don't want me up there, do they? Cynthia, what are you doing hiding behind the pillar? So Edelgard, the one who calls herself the Flame Emperor, was connected to those strange beings. The Imperial Army might be using even more terrifying methods than we know. You had better be cautious, Professor. Any amount of carelessness might prove to be our undoing. What up, Rhea? How are you, Professor? Any new changes to report? Well, I've grown a new arm here, you know. Probably thanks to the god, the goddess's divine blessing. With the Imperial Army drawing near, it is most vexing that we cannot relax and converse as we once did. Thankfully, you have the divine protection of the goddess on your side. Please try to listen carefully for her voice. Now, see, that's the problem. See, because I fused her, she doesn't talk to me anymore. I can't hear a goddamn thing. I will try. May the goddess's voice reach you. <laughs> I can't hear it. You're not trying hard enough, Bizzaline! All right. Uh, Knight of Saros apparently is over here. I cannot believe our negligence allowed the Empire to invade. Edelgard probably gathered her soldiers in Garrig Mach, intending to do this from the start. Soldiers disguised as merchants and pilgrims to avoid suspicion, infiltrating the entire area little by little. She's playing this shit out pretty well, I gotta say. Be better prepared. We'll have a tough time winning this one, I'm afraid. Thank you for the uplifting intel there, soldier. Well done. You have my thanks. Okay. We're starting with these elixirs now, too. Basically, just like Final Fantasy, heal you all the way. Okay, now I'll start deciding what to actually spend my time on. Um, Probably should go ahead and head to the uh, spa. Just so I can uh, get some boost to training. All right, uh, Seth, I feel like you and I haven't bonded enough. Let's go uh, hang out in the sauna together. Have a real bro moment. 
Tea parties will allow you to bond with people, like your old pal Elogard. Haha, <laughs> yeah, fuck you, tutorial. Hmm, I'm not sure if I should go with, uh... With Faith or Sword. I'm close to A. I could probably get it. Faith... I'm a little further away from, but I... I get some more healing spells. Um, yeah, let's go with sword. Almost there. Yes, perfect time to get a great wind sweep. Cool. What does that? Uh, what does that do? Enemies cannot counter. Wow. Cool. Hmm. Okay. I think I probably can switch out uh, wraith strike them with that. Okay, and he looks at Mystic Blow, a magic attack. Eh, not that useful on him. Uh, let's see, Swift Strikes. An attack that strikes twice. Hmm, okay, that's good. Not a lot of might on it, though. I'll switch, switch it out with Tempest Strike, or Tempest Lance. Oh, Seth's got Focus Strike. An attack that focuses Spirit to raise hit. Hmm, oh, interesting. Okay, just gives you a greater chance of hitting an enemy that could be maybe a bit of a dodge tank got potential although he's seems to be mostly or mainly uh, a spear guy oh interesting i just realized that um said it's uh using lances doesn't make use of his natural ability as a wyvern rider to use uh, axes the grand plus five one using an axe hmm which makes me wonder then i should probably at least put put at least one axe on him to use okay sarah you definitely need freaking alert stance that is way too good um, all right, Manuela, give me some training of faith. Okay, so the, today is the choir festival uh, held once every few moons. The effects are enhanced by the uplifting nature of the event. Okay, so I guess everyone just gets a big old boost. Annette's only at a C with dear old daddy Gilbert. So probably wouldn't be enough. Let's set it them, set it them flame. Ooh, they're at C plus. So this, this might be enough to push them over the edge. I'm gonna real quick try. Gilbert and Annette just to see if it does it. I don't think it will, but it's worth a shot. That is a negatory. Ah, it's a shame you can only do choir once a day. All right, let's try Flame and it then. Okay. I feel like that should do it. Ooh, I got my authority up too. Right. Uh, yes siree. Okay. You too. Give me some of that sweet, sweet lore. Brother. Flame, is something the matter? God damn it. Zenith is still being his oblivious self. I thought I made it clear that I do not want you meddling in the affairs of me and my friends. I am not quite sure what you are referring to, but I promise you I would never try to stand in your way. <laughs> Look at him standing with that big dumb smile on his face. Like, what the fuck, Zenith? It has come to my attention that you have been running about asking people what they think of me. Asking everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Well, of course I have. It took me quite some time. But for you, it was well worth the effort. Jesus Christ, Zenith. Come on, man. Look in a mirror. I was able to confirm that you are getting along well with everyone. It was very reassuring. I cannot emphasize enough how embarrassed I was when I found out. <laughs> and you have got such a stir for those whom you question. Was it necessary to strap them to a chair when you asked them? Well, yes, I had to make sure they didn't run away. Because some of them were very reluctant to give me an answer. Why? One person even said he feared for his life when you <laughs> cornered him in the dining hall. Oh my god. The dining hall. Ah, I know the fellow you are referring to. Yes, I've seen the way he looks at you. Oh god. I recognized in an instant that he had impure feelings for you. As your brother, I took it upon myself to test his resolve. I gotta say, it's pretty impressive that they managed to keep up the whole brother-sister facade, even when they're actually alone. I guess they think there's always a possibility they might be watched, so they have to keep doing it. I merely asked him if he was prepared to lay his life on the line for my beloved sister. He is nothing more than a friend. Kindly keep out of my social business in the future. I am happy to see that you are making friends, but you should weigh your options more carefully. Who I befriend is absolutely none of your business. Especially that Bizzleed. I don't know. He's, he's He looks like he's trying to get an ending with you. I, I don't feel so good about that. Do you know what they call people like you? Overprotective meddlers. I am no longer a child. Are you incapable of trusting me even a little? Of course I trust you. But as an elder brother, I have a certain responsibility. As my brother? 
Obviously. Oh, never mind it. If you'll excuse me. Ah, <laughs> uh, there, there was right there. There's the indication. I was like, at some point, right? Because they are, they're really pushing it hard, especially in this cutscene where they're like, brother, sister, brother, sister, brother, sister, brother, brother, sister. <laughs> then she finally says, You're right, as my brother. Yes, of course, as your brother. Bye, Dad. Ooh. I guess I give you an indication in case you didn't already know. Um. I wasn't really, never really give me any new lore though. Uh, okay, they do have an A rank. It's not two parts, just one though. Hmm. Will it end with Seth being less of an overbearing parent? <laughs> Probably not. All right, so doing Shamir is not gonna level him up. We'll give Shamir some motivation and get him ready for her. later. I like, I like this. I like hanging out with pretty purple hair girl. All right, Zero Manuela. That's C plus, so they might actually rank up. Nope, they're not there yet. All right, Catherine and Dimitri. C plus, so maybe. Come on, come on, you two. Motherfucker. Damn it. Ah, I kind of have a feeling though also, just because I think I did it last time to get them ready, but no, still wasn't enough. All right, what about Ingrid and Felix? Motherfucker, are you kidding me? Oh, Jesus Christ, guys, come on. That was pathetic. Ah, fine, whatever. I'll at least give him closer. I'll stick with it for now, though. Um, all right, I think I've done everything. I got my planties. I don't ever need to do fishing ever again. Yeah, I think I'm good to go. All right. Instruct. Okay, I think these two actually... Yeah, they're at B now, so I don't need to do Sylvain and Ingrid anymore. Actually, if I do Catherine and, and Dimitri, I might be able to get something. Since they were close before. Maybe I'll push them over the edge. Okay, everybody's feeling super motivated, at least. All right, Dimitri, let's do your authority. All Perfect. Your... All due to your coaching. Thanks. All thanks to Edelgard okay. betraying me. All to help murder Edelgard. All to... <laughs> all, of it, all of this course change. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. I promise to stop teaching him. I promise to end the lesson. Why don't I continue to do this? All, all right, to do. Let's keep fisting. Keep that fisting going. Bye. Ah. Sylvain, you were almost up with that writing. Come on, man. Come on. Give me a perfect. There we go. Got it. Wow, really? Nothing? All right. All right. <laughs> you know, you just get it, <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway. Uh, authority. Getting your closer authority, too, there. Mercedes. Boom. Italian renewal. All right, let's keep going with your reason. There we are. Oh, Manuela, you are so close on your faith here. There we go. A rank. Oh, warp. I always Cool. I think that's the same ability that I think. No, that's rescue. What's warp? I was thinking that was like the what uh, Flane had that can like teleport somebody to them. Ooh, I am curious. Uh, all right, let's go up sword then. Okay, Shamir, let's keep doing the horse. Let's so we get you to be a bow knight. Dexterity plus four, good. Not that you need more dexterity, but sure, why not? Let's give you some more of it. Go ahead and get your authority up too. That was good girl. Your praise is Let all right, because everyone just keeps asking me, so let's get zero up to this. I kept so I should get something. Point blank volley. Ampo level three. Okay. I'll have to see what that does. Apparently it's very good, according to the, the penguins. So they've been wanting me to get it for a while. Get your authority level D. This isn't I I can no, oh. oh, thanks. Golly gee, Professor. Okay. All right. Let the lesson begin. May I ask a question, Professor? Um, sorry, but could, you should probably just skip me. I don't have a question. I had to ask. How would I even think of one? <laughs> what? She came up to tell me that she didn't have a question. You just did. <laughs> it's important that you think for yourself. You don't need to. Talk about whatever you like. You just did. Wow. You're a genius. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I love these characters so much. I love Bernie so much. It's so funny. Wow! <laughs> Holy shnikes! Motivation increased to shit. All right, so I must be able to guard Zionists. You want to have an arm. Please turn me in hand to hand brawling. So you're working already. No, you stick to the axes too, though. You're going to be a fucking beast, okay? Oh, God, somebody's birthday. Who is it? Shamir's birthday. Okay, we got to go to a tea party then. Uh, do I have any of your... The shit that you love, Shamir? Let's see. How many times do I look up this fucking guide? Why don't I have it bookmarked? You think I would have a bookmark by this point? Crescent moon tea? Uh... Fuck, I don't. You have to enjoy just some southern fruit blend. So I came. Nicole, so yeah. I'm here. Thank you. Cool. Great. <laughs> Look at the just that big basket full of fucking cookies. Just kind of tossed in there. Good. <laughs> it's like I didn't give a shit. I'm like, oh, whatever. It's just Shamir. Just throw them in there. Oh. Uh, equipment upkeep. Thanks for romantic hopes for your future. Equipment sure upkeep. Yes. Uh, school uniforms, mighty weapons, survival skills. Yeah. Definitely that. Uh, the Corriar couple, your ambitions, the ideal professor. Your ambitions. Sure. Fuck yes. The sword of the creator. It's an interesting relic. Thanks. Uh, disagree. Chat. Nod. Nod? Sure. Thank God. Yeah, sometimes it's hard. Really, like, sometimes it feels like I could say chat there. Like, I could talk about my sword of the creator. Or I could just nod and be like, yes, it is It is very cool. All right, awesome. I get to look at Shamir. Woo! Here we go. How's that? That's cool. Oh, shit. What'd she say? Professor. I missed it. Professor. She's blushing. Professor. Huh. Yes. Admiring my gloves? I always wear them. I never know when I'll have to handle a weapon. Hell yeah. All right, I missed that other one. What? Oh. It's quiet here. I like it. There we go. Ah, I will never get over how fucking weird this is. Ah, ah. It's quiet here. I like quiet. Very good. Shamir's blushing face. That feels wrong, but also so right. Yes. Ah. Uh, let's see. You want a hunting dagger? Thanks. It's like sweet. Yes. That's some cool dank shit, Professor. Yes. Give me some more. All right. Peace that out. Was delicious. Thank you. I'll visit again when I'm free. You know what? Change my mind, Professor. I'm good for a round of fucking if you are. <laughs> what? I don't know about that. Too late. You're already locked in the room. Oh, shit. I'm so charming. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's take care of this. Let us take care of it quickly. Let's take care of it quickly. Hopefully bond. We've completed our assignment. So we can see our support. Just a good fuck you. This will help keep me. I've got horse powers. Okay, you get one up in authority. Uh, well. Nobody else got anything. Battalion Vantage. Neat. Okay, was that enough to push him over the edge? Yes, it was. Okay. More Dimitri and Catherine. Give me some of that sweet lore. Come on, baby. Another day, another training session, I see. You're quite dedicated. And practicing with the sword today. You weren't any good with it when you were little, as I recall. And who told you that? Lord Rodrigue mentioned it to me. He said you used to swing your sword so hard that you'd break it. That was ages ago. I've had plenty of time to improve since then. I'm just so fucking demon powerful, what can I say? Now I count swordplay as one of my specialties. Care to see for yourself? Well, I can't just take your word for it, can I? Let's see what you've got. Well, I'm impressed. You're better than I expected. <laughs> I could say the same of you. I suppose we students still have much to learn. No need for false modesty. We fought as equals just now. You're strong, and your form is excellent. You're clearly an experienced fighter. But you're greedy. You can't be so impatient to win. You'll come at a grave cost. Greedy? I see. I'll take that note to heart. You have my thanks for the instruction. Ah, it returns. The formality, the stiffness. Anyway, after we're through here, I might head into town for some food. Care to join me? 
I appreciate the invitation, but I have certain duties I must attend to this evening. Of course you do. Like murdering Edelgard. Yeah, I about my plans, then. I thought you'd say that. You have the same sense of responsibility as I do. Hmm. You think so? I didn't want to push you to join me. We can just do it another day. I'll confess, I'm taking a shine to you. I'd like to talk to you more. I would like that as well. Ever since I saw you wielding a sword all those years ago, I've been following in your footsteps. To be able to stand with you and cross swords is quite a... Hey, hey, slow down. Where did all this come from? You're embarrassing me. Ooh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dimitri going in. Dimitri using his fucking amazing seductive abilities, which I can attest to is very good. That's enough chatter for now anyway. Let's get back to sparring, this time with lances. I won't hold back. Show me what you can do. Right. Prepare yourself. Prepare to taste my thrust. Oh shit. <laughs> that was a hot and steamy fucking support right there. Oh god. Okay, it looks like they could possibly get a romantic ending. Uh oh, their A part A has actually has a two-parter as well. Interesting. Cool. Oh my god. Ah, oh, there's still so many supports to see. So much to do. So little time. All right, let's check out the new abilities I got here. Oh, I already have a time advantage. It's not It's not that good. When foes initiate combat, unit still attacks first battalion of endurance is less than or equal to a third. That's not that good. It's like relies on your battalion having to have less than that. I wonder if you had that on and you didn't have a battalion, would it work? With, I, I wonder. Actually, would if maybe the, if you had this and you didn't have a battalion, probably not. It probably would just not count. Yeah, I don't know. Just thinking. Just thinking, maybe possibly something to make it better. That is not worth the A rank it takes to get up to get it. Okay, point blank volley. A bow attack that strikes quickly at close range. Attacks twice at range one. Really? This is like some super good epic shit. Aren't you? Can you actually use a bow on a dragon? Is that something you can do? Actually, I think I should be able to tell, right? A trade. Yeah. All right, Haman, can we get you to be a warlock this time? You piece of shit. All right, Casper, become a warrior now. Although, let's see, how close is he? Oh, wait, no, he's, he's already master of the brigand, so yeah. There we go. Bonus stats! Oh, oh fuck yeah. yeah. Nailed it. Plus five to freaking resistance. Good, good. So we got some rare battles. Battle in the Empire, Wrath of Bands in the Empire, and Wrath of Bands who appeared in the Plains. So I think I'm gonna do... One of these, and then I'm gonna do finish these two off so I can get the uh, renown from them. Um, I guess let's go ahead and do the red one. Okay, we've got a lot of heavy armor, dudes. <laughs> and once again, the uh, big bad monster is just chilling out of aggro range. So he's just gonna hang out there the whole fight while I murder these guys. Wow, there's actually not a single wizard in this one. This whole group is just assassins and armored knights. Oh yeah, what was warp? Moves an ally to a targeted space within a range based on magic. Wow. That's cool. It might. It depends on how big that range is, which doesn't really tell me here, but it has potential to be really good. All right, I'm putting all my lower level guys in here to try to get them leveled up a bit more. Ooh, I will no doubt make use of this. Ooh, fiendish blow. Good. A little of Casper. Fuck me. I think I've gotten stronger. All right. Job, Raphael. Love up for net. Everyone. Nice. Oh, I see. Okay, so you stand next to them, and then you can warp them anywhere, anywhere within a, a a bit of a range. That's still pretty cool, though. I do like that. Level up for Ash. I'll stick with it. All right, good boost. Hey. So much left to learn. Winning shot. I could. Okay. Level up for Manuela. Here we are. Level up for Shamir. I'll grow a strong. All right, looking good. Oh, got a trade secret. Oh, come on, plane. Level up for Alois. Raphael, level up again. Still got. Okay, looking good. All right, level up again. Ronaldman. There is much. Good stuff. All right, so all these guys dead. Now for the big Chunga Wunga. All right, Umbral Steel. Level up Bernie. Okay, I killed him two more times though. Okay, if I level up again. 
Level up for Felix. I have him. Good. Get back! <laughs> Get back! Boom! Yeah! Boom! Got him! Got him! And level up Bernie again. I can improve too, you know. All right. Hope this is Booyah, baby cakes. And I got a rusted axe. Neat. Okay. MVP was Hanuman of all people. Hanuman. All right. Good shit. All right. Let's go ahead and do the uh, last few of these uh, these quests here, just so I can get the freaking renown. Okay, that one's done. Well, golly gee, this map looks familiar. <laughs> oh my god, it feels like the exact same fight. Actually, I swear it might be. I, might, I feel like I'm finding the exact same units. Oh, Flane actually managed to level up. Uh, all right, good. All right, and done. MVP's me. Something's happening. Listen up, everyone. The Imperial Army is upon us. If you can fight, pick up a weapon. Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the Goddess's protection on our side. We have nothing to fear. Victory will be ours. Professor, are you ready? Almost. Well, hurry up. I don't need to tell you that the situation is dire. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, you're at a disadvantage. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. Do not underestimate how extraordinary her abilities are. Eh, beat her ass already. Beat her ass in that last fight. They're here. At long last. Actually, technically, do we have like a couple of days before they arrive? It seems this will be a battle to remember. About time. I've been waiting for this. I'll never give up. No matter how outnumbered we are, I'll fight to the very end. Hmm. I should have made a move on the Imperial Princess before things got this far. <laughs> it could have changed everything. <laughs> Goddamn, if only if I fucked her. The one girl I didn't fuck. Curse you, Sylvain, and your inept penis. You could have stopped this war. We have the Goddess's divine protection on our side. All that's left is to try our best. All we can do is fight as best we can. Though... If I'm being honest, I'm really scared right now. We can't just hand over the kingdom in the monastery. We'll stop her, no matter what it takes. Your Highness, you do not seem... well. <laughs> Unwell, you say? What's gotten into you? Nothing could be farther from the truth. I'm so happy I can hardly contain myself. My father, my stepmother, my dear friends. They want her head. They want her life. They've whispered as much to me. Frostmourne hungers. And the chance to answer their pleas has arrived at long last. <laughs> mm, oh god. <laughs> oh, 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 I feel a bloodlust orgasm coming. Oh! Don't lose control out there. Don't act rashly. We're in this together. <laughs> of course, of course. But don't mistake my intentions. Edelgard will die by my hand, and mine alone. Let's move, Professor. Even if it costs me my life, I won't rest until I've crushed her skull in my bare hands. Jesus Christ, man, calm down! <laughs> Never just says nothing. <laughs> They're like, what do we say? Ah, uh, nothing. Fucking nothing. God damn, dirtily, we all suck! One of the worst fucking friends You've ever. Done me a great service. That's right. Did your stupid thing. Give me my stuff and my militia. And more stuff and more militia. All right. I actually managed to do all the missions, at least. All the side missions. The Battle of Garrick Mock. All right. We definitely got some supports. Holy mother of fuck. How did I get some supports? All right. Well, let's see what we got. Uh, Sylvain and Felix. B rank. Sylvain, I want to apologize for the other day. The other day? What are you talking about, Felix? Is this a trap? He's like, dude, that was like, <laughs> that was like 20 episodes ago. You know, when I called you insatiable. Oh, that? Can't say it didn't hurt, but you have nothing to apologize for. Be honest, you're kind of on the money. I mean, you've said worse, Felix. 
considerably worse. <laughs> Come on, we've known each other since we were kids. We're not gonna let your constant verbal abuse get in the way of our friendship, are we? No, I suppose not. <laughs> Piece of shit, but... <laughs> whenever I started doing something dumb, you'd yell at me about it. And whenever you drag me into something, Ingrid would find out and start lecturing us. All these years, and not much has changed, has it? But you're different, Felix. You used to be so... I don't know, carefree when we were young? Now you're the exact opposite. Well, you're not any different. Hmm. Good for nothing then, good for nothing now. Again with the abuse. This from the guy who's always been by that good for nothing side. So, did you come to apologize or to insult me? I was on my way to train and I saw you. That's all. You're off to train again? Now who's insatiable? Better than sitting idle like you. A little idleness would do you some good, pal. Come on, let me buy you something to eat. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have to choose, Felix. Our friendship or your training. My training. <laughs> Goodbye for now. <laughs> what did... Is he... Wait, Felix, I'll come train too. Wait up. <laughs> no hesitation. That was cute. I liked that. It was interesting that Felix still apologized to him, though. Like, I, I never thought I'd see Felix apologize to anybody. Oh, God. Okay. Speaking of Ingrid, now Felix and Ingrid. Hello. Oh, hello. Have you been there long? I was absorbed in this book. Another silly legend? First of all, they're not silly. And second of all, no. It's an essay that speaks to uncommon and challenging battle scenarios. I've been researching such things since you proposed your unique strategy. Listen to this. Your commander gives orders that put your hometown in extreme danger. Do you carry out the orders or protect your hometown? What nonsense. I was talking about real world tactics, not some dumb ethical question. Whatever your personal feelings on the matter, I see similarities between such tactics and these dumb ethical questions. I haven't read beyond this one. But I think the obvious answer is to follow your commander. The duty and pride of being a knight demand that you follow orders, regardless of your own feelings. Oh god, that is gonna fucking set Felix off. But if I were put in such a position, I don't know how I'd fare. In fact, were someone to carry out those orders, I know that I'd attempt to stop them. Stop bothering with all this. You're not meant to be a knight. Go find a husband. Oh, fuck, Felix. Jesus, man. Excuse me? You heard me. I know you hate the ideals of chivalry and pride. So much so, you prefer to escape your duty as your family's heir. You have no right to criticize me for my ideals. Perhaps not. At least I know not to heedlessly obey orders. I know not to romanticize blind obedience. My brother taught me to think for myself. Don't you dare bring Glenn into this. You're right. Forget it. Oh, man. Goddamn. Felix just supports are always so fucking painful to watch. But they're so interesting. Felix is an interesting character, I gotta say. Like, really, really an engaging character. Jeez. Oh, Felix has got another one. Who else is he with? Uh, Flane. Oh, God. Flane, what's that you're hiding? <laughs> Another thing to toss at you so you can slice it! Slice them all! <laughs> oh no, my surprise is spoiled. I had brought some fruits for you to cut <gasps> in addition to the fire. <laughs> I thought some variation might prove amusing. Oh my god, he actually did. No, I'm not doing that again. No, stop, god! I've got better uses for my sword than chopping up fruit and firewood. I'm not fruit ninja, okay? I cannot imagine what could be better than chopping fruit. <laughs> chopping up my enemies. Yes, the giblets. You say that as though you have many enemies. So you would rather chop people than firewood. Is that it? Oh, Flynn got sass face. That's not how I put it. But a blade's purpose is to kill. To chop wood, use an axe. To chop food, use a knife. It's simple. Surely it is not forbidden to use your sword for other things. Like chopping fruit. For your good old pal Flaney do. Swords that cut inanimate objects are serving a much finer purpose than those that cut living beings. What a noble sentiment. 
But without a blade to cut down your enemies, you cannot win. Those who are weak lose everything and they die. Those who are strong win and live on. I understand why you both get bloodshed. But you must know that it has a purpose. And what purpose might that be? A purpose. Let's just leave it at that. I'm not in the mood to debate you. Okay, it seems clear too, based on the, um... Just what Flynn was saying before, that another war was coming, right? That she's had an experience with this war, right? With that. With whatever war she's referring to. She seems to detest it, right? So hearing that from Felix... Hmm. I'll continue to wield my sword. And if necessary... Cut down my enemies. He certainly is a stubborn one. <laughs> Aw. It's still cute, though. It's still cute. She's supposed to come over and see Felix do a bunch of cool shit. Hmm. Okay. God, I got a lot of them. But yeah, you see, you can see in that scene, too, when he's like, when he said, you know, cut down his enemies, that, it's like, that's all there is to it. And he, you see how uh, that made her a bit upset. Um, all right. Mercedes and Aloise. Be an interesting one. Mercedes, hello. I have a request for you. Hi, it is me, Aloise, your best friend. Oh, Aloise. What could you possibly need at this hour? And with me, like, why me? A little birdie told me you're good at telling ghost stories. You must stop believing in ghost stories, Miss Mercedes. You're in one. I suppose I am. So it's true. Oh my god. Excellent. <laughs> I'd like to hear one of your finest ghost stories. Would you be amenable? Goodness, you want me to share one? Well, certainly. Oh, goody! <laughs> On a night such as this, ghosts like to come out and murder people who look like you. The end. I'm rarely asked to tell ghost stories. Which should I tell? Perhaps the one I heard in the monastery the other day. Oh, oh wait a moment. Is something the matter? Well, I was only asking whether you'd tell me. Uh, the telling itself will have to be another time. <laughs> what? Are you sure? It's no trouble right now. It's dark right now. <laughs> no, I have to steal myself. Uh, I mean, I have something important to do. I see. That's a shame, but I suppose it can't be helped. If you don't mind my asking, why the sudden interest in hearing a ghost story? Well, you see, uh, ghosts terrify me. But I'm a knight. Someday, somewhere, I may have to deal with one. Hmm. A knight who's afraid of ghosts. We seem like we have a lot of people at this school who are afraid of ghosts. <sighs> yes, it's quite embarrassing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Even knights can't be stoic toward everything. I'm impressed that you're working so hard to face your fear. No, oh, it's nothing, really. I will tell you my scariest ghost story the next chance I get. It'll make you poop your armor. Well, it needn't be your very scariest. Uh, uh, moderately scariest <laughs> suffice. Uh, thank you for taking the time. <laughs> How far does that one go? Oh, that goes all the way up to an A rank. Damn. Okay. Lots of ghost stories. All right. Sedith and Ingrid. This one goes pretty high, too. <sighs> Is something troubling you, Ingrid? Oh, Sedith. You seem to have caught me when I thought nobody was around. Perhaps I can help, if you would like to share. I wouldn't want to bother you with my trivialities. I will not pry, of course. But if you keep it to yourself, no one will be able to help you. It's amazing how Seda is truly like, like with everybody else, he's super wise and and knows what to say. But it's only around Flame where he just, just fucks up constantly. That's true. It's regarding my father. Count Galatea. I have met him once or twice. Well, you have likely heard that House Galatea's financial situation is precarious. Many regions of Fargus are harsh and infertile, but our lands are especially so. There were several years of fruitless harvests. It nearly ruined us. We could barely feed our troops. Then I was born bearing a crest, after generations bore none. Suddenly my family hung its future on me. My father had hopes that with my crest, I'd be married into a noble family. And that House Galatea's financial troubles would be a thing of the past. Hmm. Ah, I see. And the other house would benefit from the addition of your crest-bearing blood. It seems to me you have suffered much for the misfortune of being born with a crest. Join the club. I beg your pardon? 
I know crests are highly valued, but they are also a burden. My feelings are mixed. You truly think so? But you're so devoted to the goddess. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. Perhaps one day I will expound upon my opinion of crests in greater detail with you. Hmm. I'm almost wondering if Lane and Sedith have potentially been around for a long, long time. Maybe they were around during the creation of the crests, right? Which would, I guess, date back to Saros battling Nemesis. For now, let it suffice to say that whether or not you bear one is secondary to your identity. At least I think. I can't remember if that's when they said the crest started. You are a person, first and foremost. And you should be permitted to grow as a person, crest or not. Oh. I agree. Thank you for listening. If you ever wish to discuss this again, consider me available whenever you please. Thank you so much. Oh, that was nice. Wise words of Sedith. Hmm. Yeah, Sedith's got, uh, got a few. He's got one with Bernie, too. It's actually a two-parter for C rank. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, is that Sedith? <laughs> booga, booga, booga! Wow. He looks really deep in thought. I wonder what he's writing. A secret diary, maybe? That phrase doesn't quite work, does it? Let's see about an alternative. Hmm, too uncertain for a diary. Maybe it's a letter. Or a poem. No, that's bound to introduce misunderstanding. Precision is the key. It must be really important if he's putting that much thought into every word. Is this something for, something for Flay? It's gotta be. But I mustn't overcomplicate things either. Parting words ought to be precise. Parting? It's a farewell letter? <gasps> Is he writing his resignation? On the first part of my C rank with it? What the heck? Said it can be a little scary sometimes, but I hope he doesn't leave. It'd be sad to see him go. Especially when we're about to be attacked <laughs> by the Empire! He shouldn't make such rash decisions. If he's unhappy about something, he should tell someone. Come now. Do you really think I would resign? You know I can hear you, right? <laughs> you... you heard all that? <laughs> if you don't wish to be heard talking to yourself, then you should not speak so loudly. And right in my ear! I'm sorry to hear that you find me intimidating. Uh, I just... Uh, I'm sorry! I won't disturb you ever again! Oh gosh, you're gonna run off now? Wait, yep. Bernadetta. <laughs> uh, typical behavior for the girl. Most concerning. Can she really go through life this way? See, he knows so much about his students. So it's like, like that's typical of Bernie. It, this actually is actually making Shining Sedith in a much better life than what I was seeing, especially with his interactions with Flane, where he's so oblivious. <laughs> Seriously, I swear to God, every one of Bernie's freaking supports ends with her running away. <laughs> and also another ding to the freaking uh, Bernie freaking out counter. The <laughs> okay, and now Sedith and Manuela, colleagues. Manuela, a moment. Oh, hello, Sedith. I must apologize, but I'm quite busy. Perhaps we could talk another time? I have already confirmed that you have no urgent business. I would like to hear your explanation now. <laughs> My explanation? For what? Allow me to be more specific. Where were you? And what were you doing last night? I knew it. I knew Seth would be the one to get on freaking Manuela. I I have a feeling, though, compared to her and Hanuman, I think Manuela is going to be more okay with getting shit from Seth, right? Maybe because of his, because he seems maybe closer to Rhea or, or, or a, has a higher... Is he higher up than her? I guess probably he is. But I, I don't... She doesn't take that shit from fucking Hanuman. Oh, my dear Seth. You must relax that worried brow. Those forehead creases will ruin your beauty. Just answer the question, please. What question is that? The one you already know the answer to? Last night, I had a bit of fun and a bit of drink. Less of one and more of the other, sure, but... <laughs> How much you drink is not my concern. How much have you fucked Sylvain now? Good lord. That boy is horny enough as it is. But you are an adult who is tasked with the supervision of children. You should not be causing trouble for the students. Or fucking them either. It is unacceptable for you to expose them to your disgraceful behavior. 
even more so to impose upon them the labor of cleaning up your mess. Oh, don't oversell it. All they did was walk with me back to my room. From what I hear, you had to be carried. <laughs> I'd like to think I'd remember that. If it happened, and it probably didn't, it's not as if I'm heavy. Nobody hurt themselves, did they? Come on, Sedith. Loosen up. If you're so worried about how I'll behave, oh. why don't you join me for a drink sometime? No, that's that's the real reason right there. She thinks Seth's fucking hot. <laughs> she wants she wants Seth to fucking seduce her. Well, do seducing. Mm -hmm. No, nah, well, Hanuman's a cranky old man. She doesn't give a shit about him. He's not attractive at all. I mean, I only get in trouble when I drink alone. If it will help to improve your behavior, I would not object to accompanying you from now on. Well, that sounds just delicious. Oh, God. What are you doing tonight around... But first, I will lecture you on all of the <laughs> of proper behavior in the supervision of children. And until I am done, you will not drink a drop of alcohol. If you agree to those conditions, I will join you. I will even drink with you. Alcohol has little effect on me. That is just... You know, getting lectured by you is... Well, I think the word is torture. Yes, that's it. Torture. And I won't have it. <laughs> Not worth it! Not worth it! <sighs> I'm going to go get a drink and try to forget this ever happened. How is it that you imagine yourself the tortured one? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is so great. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. Aloise got a few more. Let's go on with Bernie. Bernie. Okay. I must drop off these papers with Bernadetta. I'm not sure how to go about this. She's as timid as a mouse. And that's when speaking to people her own age. <laughs> oh, God. Aloise is actually like realized, like, okay, if I go anywhere near her and just say hi to her, she's going to freak out and run away. So everyone over supports that. I got to figure this shit out. Okay. It's, it's got to be super, super obvious when I'm coming down the hallway. She'll likely scream the second she sees me. <laughs> Maybe this is a mistake. All that noise is going to frighten the other students. Um, hi. Can I help you? Ah, hello. I owe some business with Bernadetta. I wasn't sure how to approach her. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but okay. What business do you have with Bernie? <laughs> what? How do you not turn around, Eloise? I was supposed to deliver this, you see. Perhaps you can take it off my hands? Right. Thanks for taking the time. No trouble at all. Here it is. Thanks. I'm going to head in now, if that's okay. This is like some fucking Bugs Bunny shit right here. Whew, that's quite a relief. How kind of Bernadetta's friend making that delivery for me. Does he not know what Bernie looks like? Wait a second. That was Bernadetta. Wah, wah. But it couldn't have been. She spoke so normally. She didn't act frightened at all. In fact, she was quite friendly. Ouch. Oh, yes, it still hurts when I pinch my cheek, so I'm not dreaming. <laughs> hmm. I'm glad the ordeal's done with, but now I feel terribly confused and a little worried. <laughs> Meek little Bernadetta, what have they done to you? <laughs> okay, I think that one was supposed to show how Alois is not very intimidating, right? And I think Bernie sees that. She's Bernie freaks out around certain people, right? People that she sees as either threatening or, you know, like Sylvain, like, fucks around or just, you know, shit like that. But Alois is, he's very clearly kind, right? He's not that, that intimidating guy. In fact, he was standing there thinking about it. That was cute. That was real cute. Um, oh wait. Uh, more Alois ones, but now with Hanuman. Another colleague. Oh, my, look at the time. I really should retire for the evening. Professor! Oh, my. Uh, who's there? Alois? Well, now, wherever did you come from? I came in through the door. <laughs> came through the... Uh, 
Try doing so with a bit less volume in the future. <laughs> and welcome to me in my giant office. You like my giant desk next to my giant chair? Seriously, this is like one of the ones where like the background is is just the scale of it is way too large. We're like we're characters from Toy Story. Now then, why are you visiting at such a late hour? I'm looking to enlist the services of a magic wizard. I thought you might be the man for the job. You're a knight, Alois. Why would I teach you magic? You're a teacher, aren't you? Perhaps you should ask one of your friends already trained in the magical arts. I am tired and would very much like to turn in for the evening. Slow down there. I heard a rumor you were looking for novice magic users. I think actually, that's right. This is actually uh, an item that I got for Alois was someone who was really bad at magic, right? That was uh, in his list of stuff was one of the things that he was also not very good at. One that he was not proficient in. So the, here, here's where we start getting that bit of lore. Did I hear wrong or am I just an unsuitable student? Were you hoping for another young girl instead? Ah, you heard about that, did you? I'm afraid that was simply for the purpose of my experiments. I had no intention of teaching anyone. Anyway, as I said, I am off to bed. Good night, Alois. Wait, hold on, Professor Hanneman. I'm no good at magic. And for a long time, I'd been hoping to improve my skills. Some of the other knights look down on me for having no crest and no magical skill. I can't do anything about the crest. But the magic? Maybe that's a different story. Please, I want to learn. You've got to help me. Teach me, senpai. Ah, maybe I'm just a fool who goes soft in the face of someone's hunger for knowledge. I will help you. I cannot teach you any spells, but I can do my best to try and improve your magical affinity. Will that be enough? <laughs> of course! How marvelous! I look forward to training with you then. Very well. We will see what we can do. For now, I am off to bed, and you should do the same. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. Well, they only get to a B rank, so I don't foresee this going super well. Actually, let me check real quick. So that, that is one of his. Uh, yup. One of the few things he's, he's bad in. All right, and last but not least, Raphael and Shamir. wrong with you? Uh, uh, Sh Sh Shamir! <laughs> How long have you been there? Too long. You're blocking my way. W wait! There's something I wanted to ask you. Ask? I... <sighs> Just make it quick. <laughs> Just make it quick, God. Well, you see, wherever I go into battle, the enemy seems to find me right away. I'm an easy target. But... I want to be able to move around the battlefield without being noticed, like you do. So what do you think? Would it be possible? Do you think you're being noticed because of your size? <laughs> of course. I'm pretty hard to miss, you know. I thought that was obvious. Wrong. It's not your size, it's your presence. It's strong, almost unbearably so. My presence? Is that something I can change? Gotta hide your power level! With practice. Maybe. Let me ask you, have you ever felt my presence? Now that I think about it, I haven't. That must be why I didn't notice you earlier. <laughs> but how can I do that? Will you teach me? Please? Please? <sighs> Fine. There's a breathing technique that masks your presence. I'm getting Hunter Hunter vibes here. When you breathe, are you continuously inhaling then exhaling? Well, of course. That's the best way I know how. I'd explode if I only breathed in. Right. To minimize your presence, breathe in, then out, then out again. In through the nose, then gently out through the mouth, twice. In, out, out. That's it? I could definitely do that. Yeah, I'm invisible now! <sighs> I couldn't do it, Shamir! <laughs> Oh my god, the delivery of that line was fantastic. <laughs> He's like, <clears throat> Oh god, I could do it, Shamir. <laughs> oh, I failed. Breathe less. Keep it to the absolute minimum. <coughs> I, I don't know the minimum. <laughs> I'm hyperventilating. It'll take some practice. 
Sure, sure. I'll keep trying. In out out is trickier than it sounds. <laughs> that was pretty funny. All right, wow, I got a whole bunch there. All right, guys. Well, this seems like a good place to end things here for now. Next episode, shit's going down. Even more down than it already has. And maybe we'll actually hit part two then. I've got me nervous though, all right? My butt is clenched in anticipation. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you already become Piggy Penguin. For this LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.